Okay, let's get started. I think that this front piece of wood is just so much harder that, uh, you know, and plus it's deeper. And so when I tape off my drill bit, you know, if I don't, you know, you can see it's chewed up a little bit because I, I tried to, I tried to drill this one out a little bit more because my freaking, uh, my screw heads keep popping off on this front part. So I got two way too big. Oh. These are the screws I'm actually securing the counter. That's what the ones that come up through these holes in the brackets, you know, through the fender washer. They actually lock the counter down, but I got just two of them just locked in with here and here because all four of the front holes broke off. So I got that jury rigged and that jury rigged. Can you even saunt it? Yep. So that's what's going on. So these are the two. Well, all the ones I let left, I'm going to drill out more. And I think what I'm going to do here at the end, because I really want to, uh... All right, so this, this counter, like, it swooped up in that back corner. That back corner swooped up, right? But I just tightened it down and basically pulled it straight. It's almost straight. I'm going to give it a tighten here in about another week or two. I'm going to give it a week or two, you know, and just give her, give her a half a crank or so and uh, just level her out completely. And not sure... If you can daunt us, but that little L piece of this counter actually swoops up as well. Not sure if you can get the perspective or not, but trust me, it does. So I want to, uh, I'm gonna drill out a hole in each of those corners of the lazy susan, that front and rear corner, so that I can. Uh, did the same thing and I'll just attach them just to the ledges right there but then I'll, I'll have a hole so I can put the fender washer on it and the uh, and the screw up through the bottom so I can go ahead and lock that counter down there too because that'll that'll help take out some of that curve um, yeah all right so the trip date update okay so this was literally the only one I was actually able to secure into this hard stuff uh, without breaking the screw head off. As you can see, I broke both of those off. Well, you can't see because it won't focus, but if it, there you go. So I actually drilled another hole. And as you can also see, it didn't even, you know, it's kind of hard to do. And it didn't, but whatever. I just want to be careful when I cinch it down so I don't, I mean, the hole is actually, the whole part should basically be level. But And these I'm just going to leave like this. I'm just going to leave like that. I mean, it's it's goofy, but the only other choice is to, uh, where are we at? The only choice is to uh, drill that out in the other spot. I don't know. I'll make sure it's going in the future. Right now, I'm leaving it like that. Slightly bigger than my fender washer. If you can even sound it. And, uh... That way I don't have to struggle to get it in. I, was, I had to actually have, there's one exactly this size, but, you know, then how am I going to get it through the hole? Get it out struggling. Not struggling like a farker. And I'm going to have the vacuum on, try to suck out my bits here. <laughs>
Rumor. Are you watching the kitties? <laughs> okay. It's cold. Yeah. And windy. And uh, I don't want to go do anything, but I need to. So let's go do some things. I mean, it's not cold. It's, it's chilly. It's chilly. Chilly, chilly. Do I have the hose on? I do. Let's run some water. Do our, do our water, our water and hole here. Oh, I just saw some birdies go into the branches there. I guess they're making some nests, probably. They're like, oh, thank you for supplying this giant nest making pile for us. See? Look at a little mockingbird. There he goes. North American mockingbird. Got some got some got some good stuff for its nest it did. Oh my goodness, the the uh the sound quality is probably terrible because I have the GoPro. So it's it's gonna pick up all that wind. It's just gonna be windier and frig it is. That's no goo. We'll run that full. And I'm not seeing any leaks here. And we'll make sure that the the uh the soil here isn't saturated. That'll give us indication as to whether or not there's a leak underground or whether I did it right. What are you are you a hungry cat? You're yelling. What's going on with you, mama cat? You got any babies left alive? You got two. Two out of four, not too bad. Getting bigger. A little white and a gray. Great, that's all we need. More babies. I know, I see them. Yeah, they want me to feed them. Maybe we ought to go do that. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, 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 get it. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. That's a brisk biting wind it is. Five cats fed. I don't know where all the other multitudes are. Taking shelter from this horrible weather, I'd presume. I would presume it. Oh, fuck. Got any hissing kitties? Okay, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Need drill bit. And I need drill. And I need battery. I got my screws in there. Got my things. Oh, I need a pencil. Need a pencil that's been sharpened. And oh, that should be all we need. I don't think we need we'll need any clamps or anything. Because I got the drill. Oh, you know what? I might need. No, I think I got drill bit in there for those screws. So that should be good. And that should be all I need. Turn off these lights. So it kind of sucks, and I didn't realize it when I bought it, but the way you change the elevation on this pistol is to literally switch out the front sights. And I haven't specifically looked in the box, but I don't remember seeing any when I bought it. I guess that's something I got to purchase or write off to the company for, I don't know.
All right, let's see if I can get better with this thing. That's 25 yards, so this is about 15. So these are going way to the left. Okay, so it's going to the left. So I wanna move it right, I think. That's good. Totally get fucking cock out immediately. So I'm out here displaying my rifle skills, which are much more adept and accurate than our pistol skills, apparently. And y'all aren't even seeing all the good stuff. We'll see if I can't replicate it. If I even got enough battery left. I always seem to miss out on the rifle fire. Didn't miss out that time, did you? Definitely gonna need to go get a new pipe tomorrow, though. <laughs> I've never hit my big one. Looks like I cut it on a ricochet. Looks like I cut it on a ricochet, I did. But I have just destroyed this one. All tops of the holes. Oh my goodness. So yeah, so I had to get a new pipe tomorrow probably. Get one of these thicker ones that the legs are made out of. So even if I do shoot through it, it'll hold its shape a little better. Um I got I got spent spent bullets in there blocking the I'm gonna have to cut that pipe to even get those off. Yeah, so I can hit the little three inches at a, uh, wait, six inches, those are probably six inches. I can hit the little six inches at 100 yards, not too many worries. Um, you know, with my sight anyway, I don't know about my iron sight, I haven't tried my iron sight, maybe I will real quick. Okay, try my iron sight, see if I can hit anything. Apparently so. Let's try the six inches. Oh, last one. Got it one time. And that's the empty clip. And those are my cheapest steel ammo bullets. My Tula. My Tula bullets. Cheapest I could get. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, definitely the cheapest I could get, but typically, even in regular times when ammo isn't insane prices because of psychotic right-wingers, 
Tulo was always the cheapest I could get, pretty much, at least at Walmart. Though I never bought 223 there. I've had Headmont or 556. I have bought my fair share of a nine millimeter back in the day when they sold it. I don't know if they do or not anymore. Okay, that's about that. Got some good fun shooting in. Got some work done today. Now about time for some video gaming. And a little bit of a uh, tequila. Slapping myself in the face. Oh, come on, first one off the bat, how lucky is that? Just randomly grab one that literally popped out of my my whole coffee can that holds all these little things. And I just pick it up on the way out with the bag, and it's the right one. Oh, glory be. Glory be. Now, I no longer have, I never had an oil filter wrench. I used to always borrow one from the barn. But since we're not talking to the family anymore, at least I'm fucking not. I hear tell the wife's still taking calls from mother, though she's not calling her every day. The wife is not calling the mother, like at all, rather. Being, meeting every day as she used to call her every day. But, uh, supposedly she's not, or maybe she's not telling me because she knows I'll be pissed, but whatever. Um, I already told her initially that I didn't care and I fully expected her to reconcile because she's always been a mama's girl. Hopefully I can get this off without a filter wrench. If not, I guess I'll be taking a trip to the store in the Suburban and purchasing one. Let's, uh, let's brace this somehow. Oh, you know what? That's hilarious. I forgot I bought a jack. And I thought, dude, you're going to change the oil in this truck. the old screwdriver tech so you could watch my legs wobble more. Why do you feel this truck? You know what? I don't need to go anywhere for two days. I can leave it just like this and just order a goddamn filter wrench on Amazon. The position of this filter doesn't even you're not even able to manipulate it with the screwdriver. There's no way. Okay, even if you got a screwdriver in there, there's no way to turn it. Uh, and then he's gonna make a giant mess. So yeah, this is stupid. Get away from the oil cat. Yep, stupid, stupid. I'll just order a fucking filter wrench or go to town. Oh well, I broke down and I went to town. I got myself a filter wrench and I didn't know what size to get. So I got both of them sons of a bitch. Got both of them sons of a bitch. One of the pins, oil, one is an ace. Both feel pretty hardy. Probably this is the one I need. This is for my party. I don't know. This is, this is, no. This is for when I don't have it. Buddy, go on. I'm not singing you a big song. I, my Suburban might have a bigger one. That's why I got, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I need the small one. Yeah. But I think my Suburban might have the big one. But maybe not. But maybe the tractor I'll get will. Either way, I got a big one now. So there. Can't stop. Oh, and I bought a, bought a can of spray paint because I'm just gonna like buy one every time I'm in the store now so I can start stocking up. Okay, we're back in business. Best I can do. Best I can do for you. But yeah, these Venom gloves. This is the second or third time I've used them to change oil. I've had them off and on multiple times, and you see I don't take care when I put them on. And they're still going strong. So if you don't mind reusing a pair, it's a good purchase. That sucked. 
the way you actually want a filter wrench to work is you want it to be able to actually circle over as much as possible because that where ow fuck that provides the most tension this is small that I could just like that that's all I could move it just like that so I'm actually going to order a set on Amazon that was like 41 bucks for a four set and then I'll have six probably two of the same but still it's worth it not to ever run in this trouble again I was gonna put the camera on the helmet, go riding around. It's probably a good thing I didn't, because I already get cocky enough when I'm filming, or when I'm riding without filming. When I'm filming, I get extra cocky. My brother-in-law's got a giant pile of dirt or something on the shoulder of the road. They never put the field, and I just hit it, and like third gear wide open. Saw it too late, so I was cutting the corner too quick. I was cutting the Ewe too quick. Flipped the bike over, high sided it. Bike landed on my left leg on my boot, thank goodness. But I landed on my right side, on my arm. Skinned my elbow a little bit. I can move my arm, so I don't think it's broken. But, uh, it sure hurts. How's it going? How's it going, man? How's not going? too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Y'all doing all right? Yes, sir. It's another day. Oh, yeah. Beautiful day. Yeah. Like spot out here, man. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. What year is the truck? Oh, the Suburban? Yeah. It's 97. Yeah, I was going to say 90. I, I have a 99. Yeah. That thing has, uh, I have about 320,000 on it. Yeah, I got about just under 300 on that. Yeah. So, I'm thinking about getting a Rhino, uh, all the paint's coming off, so I'm thinking about just getting it with the, you know, the Rhino truck. There's a neighbor up oh, the yeah. road who's done that to their truck, and it looks really clean. And I, so I'm thinking about just instead of getting painted, just doing that because yeah. I don't want it. You know, it's still, it's great. It still oh, runs yeah. good. That Vortec, man, it's 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 unbreakable. Oh yeah, is that got a, is that got a five seven in it? Yeah. Yeah, that thing lasts forever. You're not gonna.
Yeah, I had a little 94 that my wife had bought brand new, S10. Oh, yeah. And uh, that had almost 400,000 on it for my youngest son left the radiator cap off and blew the engine. Oh. So, yeah, and, I, and that's when I had to get this one. And then you're so, like, what? Yeah. Wow. How'd you hear about it? I uh, just did an internet search and uh, seems like y'all get good reviews and oh, y'all yeah. are local and uh, uh, the young lady I talked to said y'all do your own work, you don't subcontract or anything. Yeah, and everybody works for us, yeah. So. Just, yeah, you can close that. Yeah, I'm uh, actually, uh, I live in Tampa. Oh, okay. I'm the, uh, our Southeast Regional of Winter World, so. Okay. Popped in on him. Hold on. Yeah. Riding with me, helping me out. I'm Brooks. Yeah, she said you, yeah, she said yes, Brooks and me coming out. Yeah, right on. So well, yeah. what are we looking at doing here? Um, well, we did, we, I just, I need windows. Um, okay. They're real. This is, this one broke because my dog's tail hit it. Oh, wow. Sounds like. Uh, <laughs> you got a big dog, don't you? Not that big. There's really thin windows. I mean, he's like a 90-pound bulldog, but still. <laughs> um, and then the bedroom window, I cracked that swatting a fly. I mean, the living room window, I cracked that swatting a fly over the summer. And uh, same thing here. I replaced this one with plexiglass. And so we just got a roof put on. I'm like, well, we probably need windows all the way around. And. So the wife told me to call and get an estimate. Wow. Yeah, thanks. That's a nice R panel there. Yeah, it did all right. Yeah, good deal. What about the doors? You want to surprise the doors out while we're here? Uh, I didn't know that was a thing, but um, yeah, if you can include that in the estimate, that'd be great. Okay. She sure. said, yeah, yeah, I thought she said, I thought she said you didn't do doors, but maybe she meant you didn't do windows indoors. Like no, we the do windows, doors, side no, I, side the wind. Maybe she, she said maybe the window inside a door you didn't replace. I don't know. We but, also do siding as well. Well, that's that's the next on the agenda. Yep. Is so, that something you do? Uh, is that as far as like procedurally wise? Is that is that is it better to do that all at once? Is it better to do like siding first, then windows? Or I mean, the siding's got to come off presumably. Do it at once, because um, if you did the siding as well, we could um, put the windows in with a nail thin. It'd be a new construction window. Okay. The way the windows are put in, and it'll be a tad bit cheaper for the windows if you went ahead and did the siding. Okay, because all this has got to come off anyway to take the windows out, right? Or at least around no, the... No, no, the siding wouldn't come off um, if you didn't want to do the siding. Okay. How do the, do the windows come off from the outside or the inside? Um, no, these are going to come out from the outside because you got a nail fin on them. What is it? You have a nail fin. Oh, so inside there's a the band that's had this nailed into the... Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so any treatment, I've been I'm been remodeling the entire inside of the house. i got window treatment. I don't know if you can see. Is that, am I going to need to pop all that off or... Um, it's not a big deal. It's just pin nailed yeah, in. Yeah, that those uh, blinds up there, those are definitely gonna need to be moved. Okay. Yeah, without a doubt. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just trying to plan for what I need to do in here. I don't have them all done yet. I've just marked my way back. But. Right. All right. Yeah. So, and what's the cheapest window replacement y'all do? Vinyl or? Yeah, vinyl is definitely gonna be the least expensive thing uh -huh. to do. And this is a single hung. Is it's that what? A double hung. Is it what? Open front open and top. Top and the bottom. Y'all don't offer single hung. Uh, we don't actually offer single hung at this location. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm out, actually, never... because we sell so many windows, that uh -huh. it's actually uh, less expensive to buy okay. the double hung. Okay, I didn't. Would be the single hung. When I called y'all, it's the first time I even started. I was like, "What's the double hung? What's the single hung?" I yeah, just yeah, actually yeah. started reading some stuff. I'm like, "Okay, I don't know what the." Oh, all yeah. right. Yeah. yeah double... So it looks like you guys already did. The guys did all the soft and everything. I did all the soft and fascia myself. Okay. Um. Now, if you're gonna wrap that with metal, you wouldn't be able to wrap over top of that. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm gonna, we're gonna okay. stain it. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to stand that and uh, I'm just it's pressure treated so I got to wait a year for yeah. all that stuff to bleed out And yeah. I still got to do the the left side hadn't been done So I actually got a mm -hmm. I got a jury rigged that over a little bit the, the, We had to get the roof in when we could because sure. you know between all the weather and everything and we wanted to get it done before summer and so yeah, so Ideally that I could have got it done a little bit later and got the other the side done But mm -hmm. I got to get the electrics pulled off the side of the house before I do that anyway, so mm -hmm. gotcha. um, But yeah, so if we could do uh, if we could do it uh, just if we could do, like i don't know how you write it up but if we could do like or if, if it breaks down it's fine if i can just see the breakdown of it, if it's just like oh there's a whole broken down uh, on our on, on our agreement. so if i just chose not to do the doors it'd be that price minus the sure. okay cool all right sweet well let's do a windows and a door thing and then i can get together with the wife when she gets home and we can okay good see what's what and okay. uh, if you wanted to think about the uh, siding as well, we'd set you up for another appointment. Appointment. Dusty, our construction manager, uh -huh. is the one who sells the siding. He's going to come out and measure the siding. Okay. Um, and he'll give you a quote on that separately. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to do that too. Yeah. Y'all yeah, don't ballpark that. No. Uh, no, it'd be better just to have Dusty do okay. it because he needs to come out here and take yeah. a look at all. I mean, that. I don't have a clue. That's why I'm just like, even the roof, like I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got into this stuff. You don't have, you don't know until you start to do it. Oh yeah. How much things cost and all that. 
All right, cool. Good deal. Do y'all need to get inside or? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, it'd be can. better. If okay, let me put my dogs away. Okay. So springtime springing, and I can't even be out and enjoy it on account of I'm all dickered on them from a motorcycle wreck. Like. Day one, after it happened, my entire arm was just like, I'm pretty sure the bone's broken, pretty sure the bone's broken, I can move it, but if it wasn't for that fact, I'd be pretty sure the bone was broken. Next day, um, it was like primarily like shoulder, I mean, it was still bad, it's still bad, it's three days out now, but it was mostly like up in the shoulder, neck, like all that, I'm like, you know, and I couldn't believe, I kept on thinking, I can't believe I didn't break a rib, it didn't damage like any of my, wake up this morning, well, wake up last night, and the uh, whole side is dickered. No bruises, nothing externally, but inside all messed up. So after going back and forth today for like, I don't know, 20 minutes in my brain, um, I've looked at motorcycle armor so much since I've started writing and getting more and more crazy and uh, getting more and more likely. <laughs> getting closer and closer to coming, you know, to wrecking. It occurs to me that, uh, you know, I should get some armor. And I look at the prices and I'm like, to get, like, to really get protective good stuff, like, you're going to have to spend a pretty penny. I'm like, dude, you can't justify doing that. You can't justify spending. I'm like, and I'm thinking about it today, and I'm like, hey, yeah, you can, dude. Yeah, you can. Like, you got $400 cameras everywhere. You got $1,300 phones. You know, you got, you don't hesitate to drop $2,000 on car repairs. You can spend 500 bucks on armor for, so I did. I got a badass full torso slip-on or something, I don't know, like all, like top-rated, full-on protective gear, everything, and some knee and shin pads. So that along with my helmet and the, the, the it's neck brace compatible. So if I want to spend another 360 bucks in the future for a neck brace option that snaps onto this armor thing and keep me from snapping my neck and my collarbone, I'll probably do that in another six months. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to spend 6000 on a bike and I can't spend, you know, 500 on, or 600 or 1000 on because, you know, yeah, hell, I might mess around in the future and get an air vest even. <laughs> but I decided this isn't comfortable enough. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm me okay. So, yeah, I did it. And, and when I told the wife about it, she's like, yeah, you can, you need to. Save me peace of mind. But I wouldn't be in any pain or any suffering or anything right now if I just had that armor. You know what I mean? So, yeah, wise decisions.